Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Malone. And in today's program, we're talking constitutional reform. And yes, it's an exciting <laughs> issue. We're going to be talking about the process that's now underway, what is happening and where we're going with it. What are some of the issues that are involved? And joining me in studio, we have the Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs, Marlene Malahu Ford. We also have the opposition spokesperson on justice, Donna Scott Motley, Senator Donna Scott Motley. She's also a member of the Constitutional Reform Committee. Now, before we go to our guests in studio, we ask members of the public what they know of the constitutional reform process that's now underway. No, I don't. Yes, I am aware of it. I heard it on the news and on the television. No, I mean, I really know about it, but I hear somewhat of speculation about the whole thing. Yes, Jimmy. I hear about it on the radio every day. A discussion and thing. I don't want to have the full understanding. No, I'm not aware of it. Okay, so of course we always want to know, um, want, always want to hear from you. So you can WhatsApp us. It's 3810072. That's 876-381-0072. Give us your first name, give us your general location, and you can tweet us as well. Our hashtag is TBJ All Angles. So, ladies, thank you both so much for coming in. We appreciate it. One of the questions that's arising, Minister, most most getting a little bit louder and louder, and I know it's one you've heard from me before. Why in this stage of the process does the public appear to be shut out? The public is not shut out at all. Uh, it's unfortunate that it appears that way to you. The work is proceeding in a particular way. Someone has to start it. Someone has to restart it. I hear some people say you should just throw it out and invite comments from the public. I say that the Constitution specifies the issues on which the people will have to vote to make a change. And these issues also have to be deliberated on and passed in the parliament before the people pass them. Somebody has to organize the work and that is really what is happening. We're building on work done. We are looking on recommendations made to see if they continue to hold and then to have the people have their say again in deliberating on the issues. We take into account the views as we understand them. But believe me, the public is not shut out. Except at all. though, at, up to this point, the public has been shut out because there has been, up to this point, no mechanism for inclusion. And what we heard last week is that at a press conference that the Constitutional Reform Committee has come to an, a, a consensus. The Constitutional Co Committee has made recommendations and people are, which is why I'm saying, people are saying, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Yes, we yes. never have the say in this. Right. How, how consensus is this on committee? what to recommend consensus on what to recommend. But why are you so, recommending without hearing from the people? I mean, but we have to put something to the people for their input, Dion. Mm. And that is what we're saying. But we're putting something to the people from their input. Hold on, hold on. As we understand it, those who have had their say are agreed that we should sever ties with the monarchy as our head of state. Everybody may not share the view, but many have spoken on it. All right. So that that is one of the issues that would require the people to vote on. You're talking about the people coming in at the end of anyway, the process, you know, no, man. to, no, to it's tick not a the box end. and go into a booth. No, well, I, t I tell you what, let me, let me ask like Senator that. to come in but and then I'll come week, back. Next week, our meeting of the Constitutional Reform Committee is going to be a consultative meeting with the wider public. Except that you've already made your recommendations. But Dion, you say issues. what I find with government, you know, just before I come to the Senate, yes. what I find with government is that there is a misunderstanding of the meaning of consultation. What tends to happen is that decisions are taken and then there is people are invited in, given a PowerPoint or some other kind of presentation and we're told that that is a consultation. How would you have gone about the process? How no, would man, you have I, gone about I am, the process? I am not in government. No, I am asking you. I am you, not in government. How would you have done it? Let, let me ask. How would you let, have done let it? Let me ask, Senator, if you're satisfied with what is happening. I would like to see more people involved. I would like to see more discussion and more input from the public. Do, do you think what has they, happened up to this point has had the input of the public? Well, the truth of it is that 
the issues on which we are deliberating now to make recommendations have been in a public space for a very long time. But that's in the exactly sense, the point, in Senator. The sense, I'm, I'm coming to mm -hmm. it in the sense that there has been evil polling. 56% of the people say that they are now wanting to go to our republic. They want to get rid of the queen. I dare say, now that she has died and we are looking at a king, that would be vastly increased. So, so I do know that uh, persons have said to me, but why do we have to have a ceremonial president? Why not an executive president? Do you need to and, even take a step back, you know, when we say ceremonial president, do people even understand what no, that means? No, and, and that is one of the deliberations that we had a full discussion around that today. I can assure you that the, the committee is not insensitive to the fact that the people need to have a voice. The, the process is very complex, but what we are doing is that we are making recommendations and as time goes along I believe if there is an overwhelming response from the public on any particular issue then the committee would look back at, uh, at the recommendations to see whether there needed to be a change whether there needed to be a shift whether there you know there needed to be a rethink that doesn't sound to you like a backward way of going about things it's complicated Dion I will tell you it's very complicated. And let me give you my perspective before the minister comes in. Since 1977, we have been having this debate. In fact, there was a constitutional reform division set up in the Ministry of Justice. We have had so many commissions. The minister has provided us with a tome. <laughs> we have had so many discussions, so many joint select committees. And there is almost, I think, a sense that if we delay, if we go back into the extensive consultation, we might not get it done. Now, hear me. Since that point, since that time, technology has advanced. There are many ways to get feedback from the public. You are, you know what the Twitter space is like. You know that that, that space is where people really get very deeply engaged. There are many ways in which we can do it. And I'm confident that over the next few weeks, we will see the engagement strengthened. The people must have a say. And let me just say this just before to, 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 to explain a little bit why I'm asking this just before you, you respond, Minister. I see you <laughs> poised to jump in. But when we talk about all these years of consultation, I think there is a great danger on the part of those of us who have been involved in prior consultations to say we've had these discussions already and the reality is that we have people now who have been on the voters list for 10 years who weren't even born when those national consultations were going on so so on what basis are we going to say we've done the consultations when we have an entire generation that has grown up since. And, and it, but before you both answer, I'm told I'm at the break. So let me take the break. Um, we come back and we'll be continuing our discussion. Remember, you can WhatsApp us 3810072. Twitter is TBJ, all angles, hashtag, we'll soon come.